Rachel Ann Dolezal is a 38-year-old white civil rights activist. She became an esteemed member of the NAACP and president of the Spokane, Washington chapter after, after darkening, darkening her skin and posing as a member of the black community. In the summer of 2015, a news reporter questioned her racial identity and sparked a national uproar about her appropriation of black culture. Recently, Rachel Dolezal was given a publishing deal to write a book about race. Now us, not only being writers, but also women, and actual members of the black community, we can empathize on how hard her writing process must be. So we've taken the liberty of creating an outline for her, free of charge. Rachel, Rachel, on your opening page, you should dedicate your entire book to your bronzer or to the tanning parlors that keep your blackness from smearing at night. Better yet, dedicate this book to your parents. You know, the white ones. Call your intro the rebirth. Tell us how you came into this world. How you were a pink baby. All blue eyed, red in the face. Now, now that's, that's what we call colored. Rachel, you should write a whole chapter on survival. Write about how the African hair braiding shops never agreed to do your hair, but still you push on. Tell us how the last 10 years of transformations have been the hardest years of your life. Even, even harder, harder than, than divorcing, divorcing your black husband. husband. Even harder than getting into college as a white girl. Write another chapter about choice. Tell us how you chose your shade of blackness. Did you stand at the makeup counter for hours staring at all that brown? Did you ever get discouraged by them not having your shade? Did you leave the store and purchase your skin online instead? Put quizzes at the end of each chapter so your readers can test their own blackness. Sample questions could include How long did Sealy have to fight? Or What is the significance of the 9-9 and the 2 2000 and what should one do after hearing it? Or, when choosing weave, what is the difference between yaki braid and wavy Brazilian? Or, how, how many, many bullets does it take to get to the center of a black body? Be sure to include a glossary. Define the terms white privilege, black face, perms, and white tears. tears. Don't forget to include an in-depth example for each, for instance. I shed many white tears in private when I couldn't get my curls to kink just right. We know what you're thinking. What about book titles? How about you call it? Mama didn't raise no white girl. Or, <laughs> Being black in a whitewashed world, a how-to. Or our personal favorite, it's a good day to be a nigga. Now, a book wouldn't be complete without a cover to go around it, so here's an idea. Make your cover only three-fifths the size of a normal one to show just how committed you are to the cause. Wrap your book in chains so that opening it will be a symbol of freedom. Maybe, maybe on the back you can include a before and after picture so we can see just how far you've come with your transitions. We, we do hope our suggestions are helpful, Rachel. Thank you for your time, Rachel. We look forward to reading what you have to say. Rachel.